Okay, Tam, thank you. All the rain we've had the past several weeks has spawned a record crop of mosquitoes, and that's making life miserable for folks who like to garden. Yeah, that's right. So in today's edition of Gardening with Good Day, gardening expert Shauna Coronado gives us some quick tips on how you can keep from getting eaten alive when you tend to your gardens. Okay, so Shauna, this has got to be one of the most frustrating thing for gardeners. You get out there, you're ready to do some work, and you're just being bitten the whole time. It makes it miserable. <laughs> It's smothering. They attack in the hordes. And the more rain, the more problems because standing water is the number one issue to produce mosquitoes. We don't want standing water on your property. So what I want you to do is clean out those eaves, clean out those bird baths, and make sure that you have moving water like a fountain. That's fine, uh, but mm -hmm. nothing that would be considered standing. And then there's some simple tips, you see? You know, a lot of people are concerned about DEET. You know, DEET is proven effective scientifically to get those mosquitoes off of you. But we want other tips and ideas that are more natural. And the number one tip I can give you is, I'm wearing it, put those long sleeves on and some pants. And I know it's tough in summer, but it's the way to go because you're totally blocking the mosquito from getting you. Now, the second tip that I use all the time is a fan. Now here we have a fan that's on my patio, but in real, it, realistically, I actually run a cord all the way out to the garden. So if I'm down on my hands and knees pulling, mosquitoes really love close to the ground encounters. Having that fan blowing on you helps prevent the mosquitoes from ever landing on you. So it's a fantastic idea. Now, there's new chemicals that are out that are supposed to be effective. I would be cautious about anything unless you've done research beyond the traditional DEET. Now, there's a new product called Picaridin. And if you have a, t look on the package, read your packages, if it has 20% Picaridin, it's supposed to be as effective as DEET. There's another trick, oil of eucalyptus, 30% means that those bugs are gonna stay off you for at least two hours. However, I have bad news too. All those traditional home cures like the oil of peppermint and the other oils and things that people are dabbing on themselves, mm -hmm. it's been proven scientifically that they're only effective for five to 10 minutes. So they're not what's working. The other thing that doesn't work is bug lights. We think that oh. we can hear the zapper zapping. So we think, hey, mosquitoes are getting killed. It's good. But guess what? There's uh, the same amount of mosquitoes are in your garden. It's really not effective. So there's a lot of things that are not effective. The simple rule is moving air, making sure that you're covered properly. And when you spray or use lotion, that it has those certain percentages that you need for cover and you get it directly on your skin. It works like a champ. So, Sean, I, I think I saw your list there that mentioned the mosquito bands. I've seen yes. those uh, people uh, wearing those a lot. You say they don't really work that well? The bands don't work as well. They've, now, listen, they've not been scientifically proven to work. I have a girlfriend who swears by them, but in the masses, when you're doing a study on them, they've not been proven to work. And here's the really bad news. Beer drinkers, beware. When you're sitting out for that patio party and you have a beer in hand in the garden, uh, the people that are drinking beer because of that lactic acid and the, the smell from their bodies are more likely to be attacked by mosquitoes. Ah. That is that's unfortunate. So no beer for you. Well, <laughs> well ruin the gardening day for me, Shauna. Thanks a lot. Hey, Shauna, do you have one quick question? <laughs> Melody, Melody has a quick question. I do. Okay, so, I, you know, I live in a high-rise in the city. A, a lot of our viewers live in multiple family dwellings, right? It, apartments, condos, that kind of thing. And you see plants out on people's balconies a lot. My poor little basil plant out on the balcony, I cannot get this thing to grow. I used to do a lot of gardening in my last home, usually pretty successfully. I cannot get my basil to grow on the balcony. What is going on? Well, I tell you, right now it's one it's either extreme. Either people aren't watering their plants well enough on balcony and it's too windy or it's been so wet and so humid that a lot of these plants are getting fungal problems that never had them before because of the humidity in the air and we've had nonstop rain. There's a point when you have to pull it out 
and start all over. I think you should start over. No, and give it oh a my try. gosh, Shauna. <laughs> all right, Shauna, so we'll schedule a date for you to come on over and help me with that then. Uh, there you go. I'm there. Perfect. Right. <laughs> Shauna, thank you so much. We want to let our viewers know if you want more information on gardening and tips from Shauna, head